Now, if you were actually here, you would realize the comedy in this video itself. It is so hot outside. It is a heat wave here in Pennsylvania. I'm sweating, I have a fire going, and if you look in the back back here, I have a sleeping bag laid out. What is wrong with me? So the reason I'm doing this video is because it's one thing I get asked all the time. It's just not this time of the year, but I thought while I'm out here, I was working on some other things around sleeping in warmer weather. So it got me thinking about sleeping in colder weather because it's all related. It's all the same factors we need to take into consideration. We need to think about conduction. That's the ground sucking the heat out of us. We need to think about convection, the wind. Is it gonna cool us down? And we also need to think about radiation. Like next to this fire, I can feel that radiant heat coming off and just heating up my back and making me sweat that much more. Okay, so enough of the long-winded stuff. What's this video about? So I get asked all the time, when people go to bed in a sleeping bag, they say their feet get cold. No matter how warm their body is, their feet are always cold. So one option and one way around this is to make a hot water bottle for inside your sleeping bag. You can pre-warm your sleeping bag ahead of time before you actually get in it in cold weather and then when you crawl in there, it's already warmed up and um, that water bottle is gonna help keep your feet warm a good majority of the night. Now the first step in doing this is to warm up your water itself. If your water has already been purified, just warm it up. My suggestion is though, bring it to a boil if it's like pond or creek water because that way it's disinfected and it's good to drink by the morning. But what we don't want to do right away is while this is still steaming hot, we don't want to take our lid and put it on, especially if it's a plastic lid. Even the metal lids like I use, they still have a rubber gasket in there and you can actually melt that gasket or you can ruin it that it starts to leak. So we don't want that to happen. So in this kind of weather, it's going to take a lot longer because of course it's warm out, but in cooler weather, just setting it off to the side for just a few minutes is going to cool it down just enough that we can actually handle the bottle. It can still be hot to the touch, but we should be able to at least pick it up and move it around just ever so slightly. So here's my bottle. It's a still a little bit too hot to touch with my hand, but I mean, if I need it to, I can still hold it. I'm just using a sock because um, we're going to actually use that as part of this process. But so you can see about temperature wise, I'm going to go ahead then and I'm just going to put my lid on just like that. And now my water is good and sealed inside. Now what I like to also tell people rather than just sticking that dirty water bottle inside your sleeping bag is to put it in a sock. But a lot of people put it in a sock the same way they would wear the sock. The problem with that is again, we're taking all that soot and ash that's all over there. Not that ash is that bad for your feet, but um, in general, just that filth and dirt. We don't want that all over our feet if we can help it at all. So take a sock, turn it inside out. Now in the winter months, you're probably gonna have heavier wool socks, which are gonna work really well. But just take that water bottle then, and then just place it inside the sock itself, okay? That's gonna help insulate it even more and keep that heat in. Now at this point, we can just take our sleeping bag here, and then I like to drop it all the way down to the foot box. So just laying inside that foot box right there, and then just roll over the top just to trap that heat inside, fluff it up, and let it go for a little bit. And then by the time you go to bed in 15 or 20 minutes, that sleeping bag is gonna be warmed up. That water bottle is still gonna have some temperature to it. So when you crawl in at night, it's a nice warm spot for your feet to lay against and the bag itself is gonna be warm. It's not gonna cool you down anymore. You're not gonna have to warm up the bag, I guess, whatever way you look at it. So simple, simple trick, like, easy stuff right here and it's it's so out of time though like usually i like to try to keep the videos in line with what's happening but like i said earlier in this video this is a tool for the toolbox start thinking about that now and then by the time the cooler weather rolls around you got it you're going to remember it and you're going to be good to go maybe i'll even do a follow-up video just to remind everybody about this but don't do this in hot weather because you'll just why would you be sleeping in a sleeping bag anyway it's so hot out but hey tool for the toolbox. This was Dan Walk of Coal Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. Till next video, stay cool in the winter, keep your feet warm, all that good stuff. Stay in the woods.